Hey, so I'm at the clinic and just a little update. Um, there were some uh, complications uh, with uh, with his heart while they were operating, and so they had to shorten the the, sh the surgery. Um, I will know a little bit more. I'm going to go talk with the with the doctor and I will be telling you what's going on. Okay. See you. Bye. Waiting for the the vet to come, and he's hungry, so he's trying to eat his his bedding, which is not eatable, of course. My poor baby, Tisha. Hey everyone, so I'm back home and I'm sorry I didn't uh, vlog uh, more at the clinic because I was really upset, that's the word. And uh, yeah, so what happened, uh, they explained to me the, the operation uh, lasted for two hours and it seems that he, he started having heart complications really, really, really fast uh, right at the beginning. And so uh, they thought that maybe changing the formula of the anesthesia, it could help um, the, the person that, that, that did the anesthesi anesthesia, uh, the anesthesiologist, anesthesist, anesthesiologist, I think, um, started changing the formula. So this helped a little bit uh, at the beginning. But at the end, like he was really, really, really having uh, problems, heart problems, and so uh, this person just to said to the to the to to the doctor that was operating, she said we have to stop because if we don't stop, he's not going to wake up. So um, yeah, the surgeon was had not finished um, the operation. He took out uh, the biggest bone chips that there were in. Um, but yeah, he, she couldn't, she couldn't finish and, and she had to take a decision. It was either she, she went to the end and there was a big, big risk of killing my, my horse or she just stopped and yeah. So that's what they did. And of course, I'm very, very happy that they, that was the decision that they took. Um, now what they because they, they took some radios after after the operation I'm going to show them to you um, I have I have also some pictures of uh, the arthroscopy when they were inside that's uh, pretty interesting and I also have the pictures of the chips that they took you are going to see they're enormous it's it's really like whoa <laughs> he had all that in in his uh, stifle it's like whoa okay so um, yeah um, what she explained is that she took out most of the things and with the radio that they took afterwards you can see that there's like there's still one chip in there that it's pretty big it's not as big as the ones that they took off but it's like yeah pretty important and the thing is that because she didn't have the time she doesn't even know if, if this one is like um, surrounded by tissue so okay so it's not going to to hurt him anymore or if uh or if it's also loose and she should have taken it out but yeah so we'll see they also uh told me that one one thing that we could do is like wait and see if uh his heart problems uh, were due to maybe it's the anesthesia, the, the formula, maybe maybe he had hypothermia, hypothermia while he was being operated or maybe he has a virus because that can happen also because sometimes when, when you have a virus it's like uh, you can have heart problems so they are going to investigate this a little bit more. 
uh, we said okay they they took some blood tests uh, already and they're going to send that to uh, a laboratory that specialized here in France uh, on heart problems and what I understood is that if, if there are some kinds of enzymes on the on the blood test then he has a heart problem and if he has a heart problem then it's like no way he's going to be operated again <clears throat> we are also doing uh, an echography of the heart to see if there is any malformation and the last thing we will be doing is uh, an electrocardiogram <laughs> Uh, that is going to last for one whole night uh, so that we, they can know if there's a, a problem with, with his, his heart rate. So um, he's not going to be able to have it tonight because there's another horse that's coming to the clinic for that. Uh, he's going to do it then. I think that it will be done on the night from Thursday to Friday. Yeah, Thursday to Friday and Friday I'm taking him back home. Um, that way he will he will uh, stay with us uh, for the weekend in his barn, in his box and then uh, we will see, I hope la next week they're going to ex tell me that it, everything is okay and that we can continue the operation because that's what's that's the idea it's like if he if he hasn't have uh, heart problems then we will be able to operate again and finish what what was uh, what was done so that's it for 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 the moment um i'm going to like from from now till friday i will be going to see him every day after work i will take some time to stay with him and yeah, nothing much is going to happen. So I will keep you posted on on what's going on with his with his heart from now. But yeah, I'm so happy that he's with us. I really, I was like, I was really um, yeah, I was really afraid of what was happening because. Uh, they were supposed to to get back to me at the end of the the, the, the morning and by mid afternoon I still hadn't had any news so I started like I really tried to be afraid and well finally something was was going on so yeah uh, so see ya later bye. So as promised, these are the pictures from the arthroscopy. Uh, these are all the bone chips that they took out. The two big ones, they are really, really enormous. And you can see it better um, on, the other, on the next picture when you can compare it to my hand. Uh, they were really, really big. It's like, it's, it's incredible that they didn't uh, hurt him before. Uh, no, yeah. Uh, these are the photos now from the, the arthroscopy, uh, the two bones, the joints between the bones, as you can see on the bottom, uh, there, are, there is some damage that has been done by the, by the fragments that were loose. Um, she didn't have the time to go and see uh, if, uh, if she should have taken something out of the bottom, but well, that's how it goes. <laughs> And this is one of the little ones that she she took out. And yeah, this is one of the big ones. Yes, that's what she told me. And now she's uh, starting to take it out. The same one, it's, she's probing it to take it out. And the second one, that was the big one, the second big one. Here it, here it is. So yeah, they, told, they, they took some radios. I'm showing the, the radio from before so that you remember where the bone chips were. And this is the radio afterwards. Um, as you can see uh, with the red arrow, so that's the bone chip. That, that's one of the things that they didn't have the time to go and see. And we hope that uh, if he can be uh, operated again, that they will be able to go and check it out and know if they can leave it in because it's on tissue or if they have to take it out. So yeah, we just have to wait now.